guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title below, I have another Trash Talk video for you guys. Now, my bin might not look super, super empty because I've said before, I am starting to do these videos weekly now. Ideally, I would have liked to have this up on Monday, but life work, lots of things going on, so I finally have time to sit and film this video for you guys. But I also have gone through a lot of candles. Now, there's a few that I started and then finished um, later, and I did not, they all were not full whenever I started them. A couple were, one, two, five of them were, but the rest, like I said, were not. So. Anyway, I have so much to talk about, so without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, starting off, as always, with candles. The first candle I finished was a root candle. Now, root candles are 100% beeswax blend. I say 100% beeswax blend. Um, they're a beeswax blend candle, and this was from their fall collection, I think, two years ago. And this is in Salted Caramel. I did not care for this. Um, this candle, when you lit it, it just smelled like your caramel was burning or burnt. So that was not a vibe for me. It was very, very strong, which typically I don't find with root candles are really strong. So I'll give it to them there. But other than that, I did not care for it. And it burned okay, really, really low flame, so I felt like I was burning this candle forever. I'm not a huge fan of root candles. I actually think I only have one more and then I'm done, but I do love the jar. It's painted on the inside with the gold color that the leaves are. It is a beautiful container. I'm thinking I might save this, but realistically, I don't even know what I would do with it, so who knows. So finish that one. Um, I finished a Peach Bellini candle from Bath & Butterworks. This guy struggled. This was a fine performer. I mean, I feel like everybody knows Peach Bellini. It's succulent white peach, sparkling prosecco, and sweet orange. It's an okay peach. It's definitely not my favorite peach. I don't even know why I bought this, honestly. This was just in my collection, and I'm like, I just want to use up a few more summer candles that I don't have to keeping my collection for next year, but the flames were so low after literally the second burn, and I did not want to stick into my candle crock, so I literally let this burn forever, and then finally, I think it had like this much left, and I was like, I'm literally just going to let it burn until it blows out, because the flames were so minuscule that it wasn't even worth like blowing out. I was afraid it wouldn't even light again. So, the burn was atrocious on that one. Speaking of a really bad burn, the Kringle Three Wick Soy Blend Cognac and Leather, the scent, it was, it's very alcohol mixed with leather. So, the name Cognac and Leather absolutely fits it. It was very, very strong, but the Three Wicks, I'm just not having good luck with these Three Wick Soy Blends. Luckily, September 16th, Kringle is launching the Three Wick Halloween candles, and they are in the new 100% soy wax. So, super excited. You'll get 15% off when they launch. I'm definitely going to place an order for, I think I'm going to limit myself to only three of them. I don't want to buy all of them just because they're Halloween candles, and I only burn Halloween a very short amount of time. But I do want to try the 100% soy the soy wax candles because if they're perfected then that'll be my new size because I really do like this size they burn nice and fast well typically three wick size burns fast but once this one got to the halfway mark again the flames were really low and it just like simmered is what I like to call it I like to say that the candle like simmers instead of boils because it just is hot enough to keep the wax liquefied but it just did not pull it just did not you know it didn't affect the throw, but the burn, it just, like, it was so, so low. Um, but, yeah, cognac and leather, I really like the scent. It was a very, like I said, very boozy leather scent. I finished, now this is one that I did not finish right away. I put it away. This is from the new Yankee Candle, what did they call this, collection? Is it in the inside? No. I think this is, like, the Aroma something. It used to be the Elevation Collection, and then they changed it and rebranded it to these, like, wooden lids, where you can still, it's like, 
raised on the inside so you can still stick your candle there and burn it like that and have a display, but look how sooty. These set square jars get so, so, so sooty, but the scent on this one was really good, you guys. It's called Resilient, so each one has like a theme. So this one's Resilient, and it's elderberry and acai blended with coconut and soy wax. This is a coconut soy wax blend, but oh, elderberry and acai, this was really, really pretty. I really like it. You definitely get that like tangy tartness of the acai berry mixed with the elderberry. Those are two very like tart, juicy fruits. So it was really, really pretty. I had this burning in my kitchen and it you see it did burn all the way to the bottom, but it was just sooty and the throw was really, really strong on these square ones. Now I will say the square jars are two wicks. The first burn you the first couple burns you're not gonna get a complete wax pull if you only burn it for four hours. If you burn it a lot longer than that, you're risking the jar getting really hot and the flames just getting really high and really, really sooting. But it will eventually catch up with itself because they're tapered down like this. So the wax buildup will eventually even itself out and then you'll left with a completely burned candle. But the first couple burns on these square jars, you definitely gotta like keep an eye out on it. I finished two from Homeworks in banana maple pancakes. This is mashed bananas, whipped milk, melted butter, butter and vanilla extract with fluffy pancakes. I'll take both lids off. I started both of these at the same time, blew them out at the same time, burned them at the same time, and they finished pretty much at the same time, but completely unscented. I had one of these burning in the living room here, and then I had the other one burning in the kitchen. I could not smell a thing. And I even had these burning on cooler days where I didn't have the air, the air conditioning on, and I got absolutely nothing from these. So I have a few more Homeworks candles. Um, I was a sucker. I picked some up at TJ Maxx. These are TJ Maxx candles. Um, yeah, not worth it at all. The burns were fine. I was very actually impressed that the burns were pretty good. Um, no floating wicks, but there was absolutely no throw. So the whole point in a candle is you get it to smell. So no smell on that one. I finished a single wick old packaging champagne toast from Bath and Body Works. I feel like the single wicks always have so much sludge on the outside, but it's okay. I had this burning in my bathroom. Champagne toast is not my favorite scent from them. I think this was in like one of the boxes that you can, like those like $35 gift with purchase boxes. Um, it's just like an effervescent, citrusy, fruity scent. I don't love champagne toast, the scent, but... I finished up in the bathroom. All right, now on to some luxury candles. I'm definitely gonna start, I knew I keep saying this, I just really need to do it. Do a lot more luxury candle haul videos because luxury candles are just so much better than like Bath and Body Works Yankee candles. Um, a Kringle, I would, Kringle candle, I would definitely put in like the middle of the road. They're not the cheapest, like Bath and Body and Yankee. But, well, Yankee's not cheap really anymore either. Um, but they perform so well, and the fragrances are way more complex than, like, a Bath & Body Works that I would put them in, like, middle ground. Middle ground. But Diptyque, Overose, Veluspa, um, you're going to see a Glass House fragrance video, which I'm super excited to film for you guys. But when it comes to luxury candles, with the exception of this brand, <laughs> um... One candle in a room, like, fills the room without guessing. Like, you know you can light it and you can smell it because those fragrances have been tested hundreds of times. They're tested, they're tried and true, where, like, this candle was, like, 50-some dollars, but it performs from top to bottom flawlessly without guess, and you can smell them. And realistically, this burns for a lot less and you have issue, issue, issue. So you just have to pick your battle. Do you want to spend more on a fragrance where you're going to get the performance or, or not? So anyway, the fragrances are just so much better also in luxury candles. But this was a Velispa candle. Their candles do not throw, like, worth anything. Like, if you put them in a tiny, tiny, tiny room, you might get a little bit of a throw. I'm actually burning the last Velispa candle 
I have in my bedroom. It's one of their three wick tins. They're really low though. They're like this big. So it's like two days and it's done. Um, and pumpkin spice latte. But again, it's a three wick in my bedroom and it's just a light throw. Like you can, you can smell it, but it's not a powerhouse. So anyway, and the jars are beautiful. So this one is Peruvian lime jardin. So it's Peruvian lime, shiso leaf, and ripe grapefruit. So you see like the lid is absolutely beautiful. This really pretty glass lid and it was a two wick jar and I mean look at that no soot flawless burn but I barely got a scent but the scent that it is is beautiful this definitely reminds me of like a lime cocktail you get that citrusy zest of the lime and the grapefruit but the grapefruit does not overpower the lime they both play absolutely beautiful together and then you get that greenness from the shiso leaf, which is just like a type of like a green plant. So you get that really earthiness that rounds it out, but gives it like that bite. Really, really, really pretty. I really like it. I just did not get a throw from it. And then the last for the candles, I finished an Overose candle. Now, Overose is a really awesome luxury candle company. And what I like about these, they have a croissant candle that smells truly like you're at a French bakery with croissants being made. It's incredible. And they're not afraid to like push the envelope when it comes to fragrances. Now they're a UK based company, so I really like that because the shipping is free to the US. Um, no issues with that and like high-end department stores like Nordstrom and Saks and stuff sell these but anyway this one is Gaia Silk. I don't exactly remember the notes but it is like a Palo Santo vanilla creamy set. So pretty and it does not smell like vendor wax Palo Santo. It's that very creamy very like just sparked wood Palo Santo. It's not super earthy or deep or anything like that. It's much more like smooth and sexy. So very calming and relaxing. When I was like having a long day, I knew I was just gonna be home for a good a good bit. I let this in my bedroom, shut the door and just like inhaled and it was beautiful. No wax going, no fan going, just lit the candle and let it fill the air with warm, sophisticated, cozy vibes and I'm absolutely going to clean this jar out. Now it did get pretty sooty because I let the last burn just go until it was gone, which is not ideal. You're supposed to burn your candles a little bit less than that so this doesn't happen, but I like to get every single bit out and I will polish this up, take that wick clip out and I will save this and put like pens or q-tips or something in because I do love this very millennial aesthetic vibe. So anyway, those were all of the candles that I finished up. Did you guys get through any candles this week? I got through plenty, but like I said, some of them, I, especially with like the luxury candles, I burn a couple times, put it away, burn it, put it away. I do not finish them straight up like that, but I did want to use up a lot of candles this week and continue to work through some of the candles that I do have in my collection. With that being said, let's dive into my wax bin. There's a good bit. The theme this week, as you know, I'm trying to work through my basket of different vendors to really see how they work in my house, what works, what doesn't, and really work through some of my stash. But this week, the feature was Super Tarts. Now, I definitely went astray on the Super Tarts because I did not have the best luck. I think I know why. I'll explain a little bit more whenever we get to that. But as always, I do have a few Scentsy bars. Definitely a lot less Scentsy than I typically do just because I wasn't home a ton and I just didn't really need to get through a lot. All right, so starting off, I'm trying to work through some of my licensed bars. This was the Looney Tunes bar, and let me tell you, eh, it was like, again, another fruity scent, but this one has a very tart fruity. Not sour, but tart, and I know, like, isn't tart and sour the same, same thing? I don't think so. I think, like, Jumpin' Jelly Bean from Sensi was super, super sour, where this is more of, like, a tart fruit. But it really didn't perform that great. I didn't love it. I just don't like the license bars. Another one that I did not like, Vanilla Blackberry. This was a scent of the month. Oh, no. Mm -mm. It, like, 
it doesn't smell horrible in the clam, but when you melt it, this like really strong musky perfume comes out and oh, but it wasn't like super perfume. It was like the perfume has gone rancid. And I don't know if that's the mix of the blackberry with the vanilla. I don't know what it was, but no way. Did this, and I literally, it was a day that I was home all day. I was like, I really want to experience this, see how good it is. No. Did not like it at all. And I did let it go to just see if it, like, changed, because some scents, the longer you let them sit in the warmer, get warm, get the airflow going, they do change a little bit. This did not change at all. It was gross. Now, amazing pumpkin marshmallow. I love, love, love pumpkin marshmallow. One of my favorite scents from Scentsy. It truly smells like you're sticking your hand in a pumpkin with the guts through them, like in a, um, in a casserole dish. I know you wouldn't just do that. Like there's processes to that, but then added marshmallows and toasted them. It is so good. That gooey, gooey, gooey marshmallow topped with true, rich, carved pumpkin. This is one of my favorite pumpkin scents because it truly smells like a pumpkin. And it's not in my club. That was the whole, this was one of the whole uh, Lost My Club debacles. Um, yeah, but love pumpkin marshmallow. If it ever comes back into Remake My Bar, it will go in my club and it will never go away. And the last for Scentsy is Saddle Up. Now, I really do like leather scents, and I've been really getting more into melting and burning more masculine fragrances in my bedroom. I've said that before. I just think it really just sets the mood, and it's really like I have, you know, got a new bedspread, you know, starting to get things together in my bedroom, and I want it to, like, just feel a little bit more upscale, masculine vibe, and Saddle Up was perfect for that. It was really, this is, it's not as intense in leather, as uh, weathered leather, which I really do like that too. I really like that scent in my car. But this one is more like bright leather. Like you smell the leather, but it's very clean. It's not dirty. It's not like turned into a shoe or a belt. Like this is like a very clean leather couch. Oh, it's so pretty. There must be a fly because the cats are like climbing the walls. Um, oh yeah, this is really nice. I really like it. I don't think it's still available. I'm not 100% sure, but I bought all the Scentsy leather scents to try them out, and Saddle Up was definitely one I would order again. I really, really liked it. All right, so now let's dive into my bin of empties. I'm not gonna sort out, because I didn't have a real ton of super cards, to be honest. Um, even though it was a super cards focused week, I definitely did a lot more. First up, I finished an entire BAM bag in Jaws. This is from Super Tarts. I love Jaws. I have a couple BAM bags left of this. It's so good. It's like spliced pears, plum, salty sea air, ocean mist, like all of that. It is so good. It is very hard to describe. You definitely get that clean, fresh, outdoorsy, ozonic vibe, which I absolutely love. And then you get the... Uh, crispness of the pear, the sweetness of the plum, and I like, don't get me wrong, I do enjoy Jaws blends, but there's nothing like the original Jaws, and I did this one day in my entire living room, lasted all day, through the night, into the next morning, and then it was like getting low, and then I did it in my candle room, and I got two days out of the candle room, so I am impressed with Jaws, love it, will continue to melt Jaws and purchase it. Absolutely loved it. Now, the I'm just going to do it right now just to get rid of them. The Super Tarts Bakery Bags. I did not get performance from these. And I think it is because of the bakery bags. I have two more that I actually double bagged and stuck in a poly bag. So hopefully I was able to trap more of that scent in. But I definitely think that the bakery bags affected the throw on these. Because all of these... I got the slightest hint of a scent, and then it was gone. I did them in my small room, I did it in my bedroom, I did it in this room, I did it in the bathroom. All of them did not perform, so I was really disappointed. The first was Mac Daddy, Mac Apple, Cantaloupe, Strawberry, and Kiwi. 
Love sweet pumpkin pecan waffles, lavender cream, and vanilla bean cookies. This was just bizarre. Like pumpkin pecan waffles and lavender, I, I I didn't like it, and it wasn't really strong. Like I smelled it for a very short amount of time, and then it was gone. All right, the keys. This is key lime marshmallow pie crust and frosted sugar cookies. I really enjoyed this scent. I really liked it, but again, it didn't perform. It was a nice key lime pie scent. And then friends, strawberry margarita sugar crystals and raspberry. Again, really liked it. Just couldn't really smell it in the bag. It was a really nice fruity scent. We have Starfleet, and this one is zucchini bread, jelly donuts, and sugar cookies. I did this in my candle room. I do most clams in my candle room because I have five warmers in there. One is the acute copper, which holds a lot of wax. So in that warmer, I do two cubes and then one in all of the rest. This was nice, but zucchini bread, jelly donuts, and sugar cookies, it was a scent that I could smell from any other vendor. It wasn't super, super special. And I find that some super tart scents they all they do have are very unique. But this was just not one of them. It was a very like jellied zucchini bread fragrance. It lasted all day. It was nice, but I would not repurchase it. Diva Duck did not care for this. This is part of like the Mouse Ears collection, which is ice lemonade and lollipops. And that is mixed with grape soda. I don't like grape. Mm -mm. And it was very, very grapey. And look how yellow this clam is. It's like real squishy. Real squishy. So, did not love that. This one. Oh, I hope I don't get hate for it. I get hate for everything. What am I talking about? You're on. Lemon curd, beach florals, ocean air, and melon. I don't know why I bought it to begin with. It smells like skunk. Like, legitimately, like a skunk. Oh my god. I don't even know how I handle this in the warmers. I did it in my candle room. Oh, it literally smelled like a skunk was in the room. It was horrible, and it never got better. You're on? No. Horrific. And I, I know that people say, like, they smell skunk from coffee, but that was legitimately... A skunk sprayed my carpet in there. Like, oh, oh awful. <laughs> Son of Hermes. And this is, listen to me. It's probably Hermes, right? But I'm like, love me some luxury. So I'm like, Hermes. Okay. Espresso, pistachio, and brown sugar. This was really nice. I love coffee and brown sugar together. I just think that the brown sugar almost enhances the coffee. Almost like when you add, like, coffee powder or cocoa or, um, like a, uh, instant coffee to um, brownie batter. It like enhances the chocolate flavor. It's a barefoot contestant tri trick for you guys. But oh, this was so good. The brown sugar mixed with the coffee. I wouldn't get a ton of pistachio, which is shocking. I think it just kind of added that more like roastiness to the coffee. It was really, really nice. I really like that one. Wise Counselor. Honeydew, cantaloupe, funnel cake, and whipped cream. I really liked the wax. But when you melted it, it smelled like Play-Doh. And that's all I could get. But, like, even the clam. Like, I know a lot of times, like, the clams smell plasticky. I love the way that the clam smells. It was a very fresh honeydew and cantaloupe blend. Like, a really nice melon on top of a funnel cake. Which, I, I know, like, strawberry, cherry, blueberry, but... On a funnel cake, but I've never been to a fair and said, ooh, I want some honeydew on my funnel cake. It just doesn't happen. Um, but blended together, it was really, really nice. But when it warmed, it smelled like Play-Doh. So not a fan of that. <laughs> and then the last one is Gotham. And this is black raspberry, vanilla bean, pomegranate, and champagne. This smells exactly like Sensi's black raspberry vanilla. Absolutely exactly like that. Smell like it on cold, smell like it on warm. I did really enjoy it. Um, I should just get Scentsy though. And um, with this one, it didn't last a long, long time, but it was really pretty when it was going. All right, now let's move on to some other things. Oh, this guy, Melted Moose, Caramel Apple Zucchini Bread. This was freaking fantastic. This was poured in August of last year. I do have a mini loaf in this, which I'm so excited. I'm going to melt this fall. I cut this in half, did it in my bedroom. 
it's not Cider Lane. So don't think like caramel apple zucchini bread is Cider Lane and zucchini bread. It's not. This is like copper kettle caramel apple. Like you roasted caramel in a copper kettle, drizzled it over a Granny Smith apple, and you served a piece of warm funnel or warm zucchini bread. So good. Oh, so good. Lasts forever. Melted mousse stuff is incredible. I'm so glad I have a drawer of melted mousse. She is just wax that I save for special occasions just because I love that. I love her wax so much and it performs so well. It's soft. It's buttery. I could do without all the mica in it, but other than that, amazing. I did a scent shot from a Kirby Vintage Chic Scents in Stabathon, which is a jungle juice inspired blend. Mm. It just smelled like a fruity fruit punch. And, eh, I mean, that's definitely not my wheelhouse, is fruit punch scents. So, I wouldn't repurchase that one. Blueberry Cheesecake from Sassy Girl Aroma. I did this in my bedroom in a tea light. Love. It definitely gives you, like, Scentsy's Blueberry Cheesecake vibes, where it's, like, that very, very creamy, tart cheesecake mixed with, like, blueberry pie filling. Really nice, really strong. I would totally get this in a brittle when she offers it next. Really, really liked Blueberry Cheesecake. This, on the other hand, from Scoopable Tart Wax, I got this in a in a kahuna box. Um, berry whipped cream. Raspberry sauce, blueberry cobbler, whipped cream, and pie crust. When it melted, you guys, it smelled like sweet tarts. It doesn't smell like that here, though. Like, in the jar, it smells like a fruity, fruity berry pie. Like, really nice. And the whipped cream, I will say, is pretty dominant in it, which is not really unique, or not really, like, you don't really find that you smell whipped cream in blends a lot. But this, mm -mm, it was, like, straight-up sweet tarts when you melted it, and I was, I was not into that. I did, from Sassy Girl Aroma, a brittle in five little pumpkins. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, vanilla bean noel, and sugar cookies. This was just another pumpkin pecan waffles blend. I, um... I'm working through a candle right now. I'm burning on and off whenever I have, like, a pumpkin pecan waffles blend. And it literally was just a pumpkin pecan waffles blend. I feel like I have a lot of, like, just creamed up pumpkin pecan waffles. And if I'm going to get, like, a creamy one, I'm going to go with, um... Which is be crazy from Teddy V's. Had to think about that for a second. Oh, I did another scent shot from Kirby Vintage Cheek Scents, Espresso Jackie O. Fabulous. Vanilla bean cake topped with espresso beans and whipped marshmallow. Love, 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 love this. It's a very, very creamy, creamy espresso. Not, um, not just coffee. You definitely get espresso like that bitter, bright coffee. Really, really liked that one. I did a couple from Candles from the Keeping Room, just singles in a tea light in my bedroom. Banana Nutty Graham Pie. This was nice. It was just like a banana pie scent, but the graham cracker really came through. And Tiffany's Strawberry Pound Cake, which, oh, this was amazing. I actually did this in the living room. One, it was a strawberry in a tea light through the whole entire living room one day. No air on, just let it go. Filled it up. It was just like cupcakes at Tiffany's and strawberry pound cake. So a very, very creamy chocolate forward, but not overly chocolate from the Cupcakes of Tiffany's. Cupcakes of Tiffany's is one that I still don't understand the hype for. I'm trying to. I really am, you guys, but I just, I can't get into the hype. Oh, I finished a wallflower bulb in a berry waffle cone. I actually just put this in my entryway, so not really finished. So good. I have one of the, like, intensity ones where you can change the intensity. I always do them on three, no matter what the scent is. Really, really good. I mean, it just, it fills the upstairs, the downstairs, before, like, you get into my apartment. Because the entryway is, like, when you open up the door, it's right there. So I literally have this plugged in. So good. It, if you haven't had Berry Waffle Cone and a Wallflower Bulb, perfection. All right. Next, I did a sample of Dessa's in Candy Cane Snowballs. So nice. Creamy, creamy peppermint coconut cake. Really liked it. Love Dessa's. Cannot wait to get my order from her in. From her pre-order, she is killing it, as always, with the pre-orders. I mean, her pictures are beautiful. I didn't get any of the souffles. They're, like, decorated. They're so cute. I'm like, why did I not get any of those souffles? I'm obsessed. It's okay. Anyway... 
love. This was really nice. A really good peppermint coconut scent. I raved about this in my last empties. Well, because I didn't finish it. But Salem, I had one Q, one piece of the souffle left. Salem is Gala Apples, Fraser Fir, Figs, Mahogany, and Cedarwood. Love. It's the Autumn Dupe from Bath & Body Works, and this filled up. I did this here in my main space in a tea light. Filled the entire space. Really, really like that. That's such a good performer for me from Teddy Bee's. Same with this guy, Peach Cobbler Circus Cookies. This is Frosted Circus Sugar Cookies blended with Decadent Peach Cobbler. Hands down, the best peach scent I've ever smelled. I know you guys in your sugar melts by Stacy. No. Like, that's nothing. I don't like the wax, don't like the way it performs, don't care for the owner, and oh my god, this is so good. And really don't care for one of her admins. Um, oh my god, this is so, so good. It's decadent, rich, juicy peach folded into like a cobbler. So it's not okay, it's not cat pee inducing like some peach can. It's so good. So, so, so decadent. And the throw is always out of this world. And then last but not least, I did a mini melter bag and circus concession from Rose Girls. Love. She does have one of the best circus concession type scents. I did find one that's really close. So still testing it to make sure it's one that I will buy instead of circus concession. But really do enjoy circus concession. Like funnel cake, mac apple absolute decadent deliciousness. And that is it. I finished my basket of empties. So I will fill this up, recycle this, and move on to my next week. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted next time I film a video here on YouTube. Have an incredible day. You matter. Make it a better world. And I love you all so much. Bye, guys.